John Boyega, who is an actor, I think he was in the new Star Wars movies. John Boyega, and I, I mentioned this a little bit at the end of the show yesterday, is making headlines because he said an audacious, shocking thing. He said that he, a black guy, only dates black women. To GQ, he said, I only date black. Then it's about chemistry, personality, goals. Is there a synergy? Can I help you? Can you help me? Again, it's kind of a tawdry and clinical way to view a love affair. Can I help you? Can you help me? Can we advance each other's interests? Okay, I love you, honey. (laughs) Uh, No, let's do it. Let's advance each other's interests. That's not what Cole Porter's saying. No, Uh, not a great way to look at love, but he's saying, look, that's how it is. And uh, and then he got in trouble because he said he only dates black chicks. And when he, he got pushed back, he said, when people talk about preferring brunettes or blondes, they're not talking about wearing a wig. My preference is not a topic for debate. And I, I agree with him here. Why is, why is it wrong for a black guy to, to prefer to date black chicks? I don't think, why is it wrong for a Japanese guy to prefer to date Japanese chicks? Why is it wrong for a white guy to prefer to date white chicks? Oh, that's very wrong. <laughs> you see, because John Boyega will get away with this. He ultimately won't get in trouble because black people can't be racist. Uh, If a Japanese guy wanted to date a Japanese chick, he probably wouldn't get in trouble. But if if a white actor came out and said, I only date white, I only date white chicks, it it would be a national scandal. He would certainly be canceled from Hollywood. He would never work again. He would would be called a a Ku Klux Klansman. Why? Why? I don't see any problem with any of that for any people. One, it's... Uh, difficult to, to control one's preferences. I'm not saying it's impossible to shape one's preferences, but genetics and the way that you are raised and culture and nurture are going to shape those things. Why, why is it that John Boyega has to date, uh, I don't know, a Middle Eastern chick? Why does he have to date a white chick or a Chinese chick for, to advance political correctness? Is, is the man not allowed to have the love affairs that he wants? Is the man not allowed to pick the wife that he wants? Shouldn't that be the case for all of us? Why do, why do we have to suppress perfectly ordinary, normal things all in the name of political correctness? I, I think it's fine. I, I hereby uncancel John Boyega. John Boyega, fine in my book. Those movies are not fine in my book, but John Boyega is fine. Sonny Hostin on The View is not just attacking Trump not even just attacking Ron DeSantis. There is a third Republican prospect for president that the libs are beginning to go after. That would be Nikki Haley. How are they going after her on racial grounds? I think we've got some if they're willing to challenge Trump. I'd love to see Nikki Haley. I'd love to see Liz Cheney. I'd love to see Nikki Chris Haley, Inu. the chameleon, and and Liz Cheney. Flip flop. I disagree. Of, I think I flip think flop. I think that Nikki Haley was incredibly effective governor what is her of real South name Carolina. Again? Assign- Wait, Alyssa, I have a question because for you. Aside from Ron DeSantis. A lot, of, a lot of people don't go by their actual real what name. What is her name? Yeah, I believe it's, uh, I don't want to mispronounce it. It's, it's Indian, but she, she's, but her background's she Indian. doesn't necessarily, you know, I think if she leaned into. A ton of people don't go by their but, uh, color uh, name. Wait, a serious. So Nikki Haley's given name is not actually Nikki. It's some Indian sounding name, but she goes by Nikki because this is America and people speak English and because she's in politics and I don't know, and maybe just because she prefers the name Nikki. That's fine. It's a very nice name. And Sonny Hostin is saying, that's wrong. She can't do that. She's not allowed to take on a more English sounding name. That, according to Sonny Hostin, whose name is Anuncia or Anunciata or something. It's a Spanish version of of the the name for the, I think it's, I think it's Anuncia or something. No, I'm sorry. Asuncion. There it is. So it's not, it's not the enunciation. It's the assumption. But she's got a Spanish name. It's a very nice name, and she prefers to go by an anglicized version of that. What do we take away from this? Two things. It has nothing to do with the names, what names people want to go by. They go after Ted Cruz for this very same thing. Ted Cruz's name is Rafael Edward Cruz, but his father's name is also Rafael. So when Ted was a kid, people would call him Felito, and Felito is not a name that a young... <laughs> young American boy wants to be called, or really any boy wants to be called, I think. Uh, And he he was sort of getting made fun of for that name. And so he went with a nickname that is part of one of his names. A nickname for Edward, his middle name, is Ted, and he goes by Ted. Okay, is there any problem with that? I don't see any problem with that. Especially if you're living in America. America, we speak English for now. 
And we, we speak it at least relatively coherently before all the woke people redefine all the words. And so he goes by Ted. That's fine. Certainly makes a lot more sense than some by, somebody by the name of uh, Robert Francis O'Rourke going by Beto. It's kind of weird for a white guy with an, an English sounding name, Irish sounding name, to go by a Spanish name when he lives in America, which ostensibly is supposed to speak English. But okay, even Beto, whatever. Or uh, Sonny Hosta wants to go by Sonny. But Nikki Haley's not allowed to do it. Beto's allowed to go by Beto. Ted's not allowed to go by Ted. Asuncion is allowed to go by Sonny. Nikki's not allowed to go by Nikki. Why? Because it has nothing to do with any principle. It has nothing to do with any names. It has nothing to do with any kind of racial politics even. It's really just because half of those people are Democrats. Half of those are people are Republicans. It, it, it isn't even on the basis of race. Nikki Haley is Indian and Ted Cruz is Cuban and Irish and Italian and a bunch of other things. And Beto O'Rourke is a white guy and Sonny Hostin is Hispanic. But it, do, it actually doesn't have to do with race. It's just the Democrats get to do whatever the Democrats want. The Republicans can't do anything right. And that's it. So there's no principle here. And as we approach the 2022 midterms and as we get into 2024, we have to remember as these attacks kick up, we have to remember they are completely baseless. There is no reason to take any of them seriously. Actually, you don't have to hand it to the Democrats. You do, it's completely in bad faith. It's all BS. Just laugh it off and ignore it. For goodness sakes, they're going after Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley, who I really like personally. Nikki Haley is a very moderate politician, okay? And I promise you, if Nikki Haley somehow got the Republican nominee in 2024, they would call her Eva Braun, okay? And they'd probably call her Hitler. They'd probably just go all the way and call her Hitler. They would find a way to make Nikki Haley a far-right, radical, semi-fascist, anyone. They would do it to anybody. I'm so glad you like that clip. Now, you've got to subscribe. Ring that bell. Get the notifications. We'll see you next time.